So as you're going through this review, I caution you not to just copy. You have to understand there's going to be 40 multiple choice questions, and there are really good distractors, which means if you don't genuinely try the problem first to see where you are, you will struggle. Okay. So I want you to look at 1 and 2. They're very similar. Okay. They want to know what's the multiplier. What's the multiplier? So your focus is the percent. Okay. But the difference is in this one, it says it gains. That means plus. This one decreases, which means minus. So you have 100% of your money, and you add 4% to it. That's 104%, but you need to write it as a decimal, 1.04. This one, it decreases 20%, so you're not going to pay as much. So you're going to have 100 minus 20%, which is 80%, which is 0 0.80 or 0.8. Okay? These two are also similar. But the difference is, when you do this one, it equals 180. And when you do this, these are vertical angles, they are equal. Okay? So I'm going to go 103 plus x equals 180. And this one I set it up as 7x minus 10 equals 3x plus 14. Okay? So this one equals 180. That one is just equal. So now I solve x equals 77, okay, and that's degrees, and then here, move this, move this, 4x equals 24, x equals 6. So now I take the 6, plug it in, and that's 32 degrees. I don't have to plug it in here because I know they are equal. But if you don't believe me, 7 times 6 is 42. 42 minus 10 is 32. Okay? All right. So now let's look here. They want to know if it's equal or if it's equaling 180. That's the difference, okay? So C and E are equal, and that's based on alternate interior. Alternate means like one's on the right, one's on the left. Interior means the inside. Okay. Now we're doing A and C. We went that one last time. That's vertical angles. Vertical angles are equal. So that's this one, vertical angles. A and E. A and E. This is top left and this is top left. They are corresponding. They're in the same place. And they are equal. E and H, so E and H are right next to each other, and it looks like they form a line. That means they equal 180 degrees. It looks like it would be a linear pair. Okay. All right. You could also say, well, that is supplementary. And then D and E. They're on the same side, and they're on the inside. Same side interior. And that means they're supplementary. Okay. So they're saying A and E. We said A and E were equal. Since we said, because they want to know about A and E, and since they said they're equal, I'm going to set them equal to each other, just like we did last time. X equals 8. Okay? All right. So, conditional. Conditional means if, then. Okay? If I stay up until midnight, comma, then I will be tired the next day. Okay? Converse means you switch the if and the end. So, if... I am tired the next day, then I stayed up until midnight. Okay? It's multiple choice, so you're just going to find the one that works, but it's really easy to make a mistake. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, we got a lot of triangles happening here. Okay, we need to decide if they are congruent. Remember, congruent means equal. 
if they are congruent, give the congruent statement. That's like S, 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 A, S, A, S, A, S, and A, A, S. Okay? So this is a side, and that's an angle. And then based on vertical angles, this is also an angle. So it's A, A, S. Okay? I can't go like this. A, S, A. It doesn't, it's not, it's got to be in order. So A, then A then S. So A, A, S. And I've got to follow the same order. So if you start with A, you start with I. And then if they went to X, I go to N and then M. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. You can't see any of that. I feel bad. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go to the next one. So this is an A, an S, and an A. So A is A. So W has the 2, so R has the 2. V has the 1, so P has the 1. Q. Okay, they're asking us to do a flow chart, but what I want you to get down is the first thing is always given. Well, not always given, but a lot of times it's what's given. Um, AD is congruent to DC, given. Um, AB is congruent to CB, given. DB is congruent to DB. Actually, that would be the reflexive property. Okay, um, but then you should know that by side, 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 Triangle DAB is congruent to triangle DCB. Okay. They want you to multiply this using an area model. When they say area model, they mean box. I think a lot of you are really good at that, but make sure you multiply correctly. You don't want to get it wrong because you go too fast. If you're not sure what to do, use your calculator. Okay. 21x squared, these are the same, minus 4x minus 12. Okay. All right, decide if they're possible or not possible, okay? What needs to happen is you need to be able to take the two smallest sides, and they need to have a sum greater than the third side. Is 7 greater than 5? Yes, it is, okay? If I had a triangle that was like a 3, 4, 7, these are the smallest sides, 3 plus 4, is that greater than 7? No, it's equal to 7, so it's not a good triangle. The next one, these need to equal 180, so I need to be able to add them, and they need to equal 180. 30 plus 60 is 90. 90 plus 70 is 160. 160 is not equal to 180. It's not possible. Okay. Um, okay, in this one you're thinking, hey, what do I do? Well, add 20 plus 85 is 105, minus 180 is 75. So the rule is, it needs to go smallest to biggest. So 8, 10, 11. Now the 8 is with the 20, the 11 is with the 75, and the 10 is with the 85. See how this is going from smallest to biggest, but this is not going from smallest to biggest? It's not possible. Okay? This is saying a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is when all three sides are different. Okay? This is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles is when two of the sides are the same and one of them is different. Equilateral means all of them are the same. Okay, so they want to know if they're similar. So that means this is times two, this is times two, and this is times two. Yes, based on side, side, side similarity. Okay? And just to let you know, it dilated by a factor of two. Let's go to the next one here. Um, they want you to solve a proportion to figure out what x is. So x over 6 equals 14 over 4. Because that's the x. Make an x. Multiply what touches. 4x equals, let's go 14 times 6, 84. Divide by 4. x equals 21. Okay. All right, the next one. In the next one, so I see here, oh, they just wanted x. They, so they want x and y. In order to get x, go 180 minus 51 plus 93. So I'll do that in my calculator. 180 minus 51 plus 93. And I get 36. So x equals 36 degrees, done. Now the y is a little bit more difficult. When I look here, it makes a linear pair. 
which means it equals 180 degrees. So it looks like that says 93 plus 4y minus 36. These are the same. Put them together. 57 plus 4y equals 180 minus 57. I have a feeling I'm reading this wrong. I don't know if that's plus 36 or minus 36. 4y equals... 180 minus 57, 123 divided by 4. Let's say it's 124, okay? Y equals 31. Okay? All right, probability. They want to know of choosing a yellow marble from bag 1. So there's three yellows out of 6, which is 1 half, which is 50%. So they want to know choosing a yellow marble, 2, out of 2, 4, 8, which is 1 fourth, which is 25%. Okay? Expected value. So I'll do the rest of the um, problems in the next video.